Hi there, Penny Carlson from Economics and Futures Markets. I thought the best way to show you how to do your stock graph for your project might be to create a little video. That way, if you have questions or problems, you can go back and see how it's done. So let's get started. First, we're going to need to download our data. So let's go to Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance has tons of historical data that you can download to create your graph. I'm going to use Apple stock for my example. So the symbol is AAPL. So here's our information for Apple stock. And what we want is this historical data. So click on historical data. And the historical data is downloaded for the past year. For your stock, I want you to start from the beginning of the year. So we're going to need to change that date range. So we just click on it. And actually what we want is a year to date chart from the beginning of January. So we click on that. Click on done. We see that date range is, is in there now. And we just click apply. Now we have our data. Date, open, high, low, close, adjusted close, which you won't use, and volume. And we need to click the download button to download the data. And I'm going to open it in Microsoft Excel, which is where we'll create our graph. I'm working in Excel 2016, which is the latest version. If you're working in a different version of Excel, you may find that the layout is a little bit different, but you should be able to find all the features that I use. Notice that there's a warning sign that some of the features may be lost if we continue to work in this comma delimited file format. So what I'm going to do is just copy this data. I'm going to open a new file. And I'm just going to paste the data into that. And now we're working in an Excel notebook that should have full features. Just bring the date column over a little bit so we can see the date. And the first thing that you'll notice is that this date information is from newest. And if we go down to the first of the year, the oldest information will be at the bottom. That's not how we want it for a graph. We want our graph to go from left to right with the January dates being on the left side of the page. So we're going to need to sort this data so it goes from January through November. So we just make, need to make sure we have all our work selected, which I just click the left hand corner up here. Go to data, sort, make sure our header column is checked off and just sort by date, oldest to newest. Hit OK. All right, now our data is in the correct order. So let's get it organized to do our chart. Let's get rid of this adjusted close before we go on because we're not going to use that. And in fact, if you do use it, you're going to get a graph that does not look right. Okay, so let's just right click on it and delete it. We're actually not going to use all the rest of this data, but let's highlight it for now and go to our graph menus. Our graph menus are under insert, and it depends which version of Excel you have. You might find the stock charts under other. On 2016, I'm going to click on recommended charts, and then I'm going to click this icon that says all charts, and we can find our stock charts down here. The chart I'm going to use is this high-low close graph, and that chart also has the volume on it. Notice when I click on that graph, it tells me what order my data needs to be in. So it needs to be in volume, high, low, close. It says, to create this stock chart, arrange the data on your sheet in the order volume traded, high price, low price, closing price. Use dates or stock names as labels. So we're going to use the dates as our labels, and they'll stay in the first column. All right, so for now, I'm going to click Cancel and get my graph in order. Okay, so I don't need this open price, so let's delete that. 
I'm going to need to have the order as volume, high, low, close. So let me right click and cut my volume. And then I'm just going to click on high, right click, and insert my cut cells. Now we've got our data in the right order. I'm going to go back to our chart menu again. So I click insert. The chart menu again. All charts, stock chart, the volume high low close chart. And if everything works, you should see a view of the chart and hit OK. All right, so we have a chart, but this isn't something that you're going to be able to analyze and draw all your formations on. It's a little tiny thing. We need to make it a little bit bigger and do a few things to fix it up and make it a little easier to read. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this chart to a whole page. To do that, you can right click on the chart, but you have to be careful where you right click. We want to right click so that we have move on our menu over here. And you see what, if we just right clicked on the chart, that doesn't come up. If we right click on one of the blank areas over here, we get the menu that we want and we can click on move chart. Okay, so we want to move it to a new sheet. And we could give it a name if we want. Okay, that looks better, but it still doesn't look great. First of all, Apple stock is always traded in the 90 to 120 or lower range. So we've got all this data in a fairly small area up here. We want to stretch it out a bit, so we'll take care of that. The other issue is we see the volume kind of overpowering the chart. And if you look at most stock graphs, you'll see that the volume is just kind of smaller on the bottom. So we also want to take care of that. So let's fix these things first, and then we'll give our charts some titles. Let's take care of our volume scale first. In order to do that, we need to bring up the axis information. And you're going to have to be careful about where you put your cursor when you right click to get your menu. If you put it on the blank area and right click, you won't get the correct menu. You need to put it over one of the numbers on the chart, right click, and make sure you have the menu that says format axis. Click on format axis. And you can see the axis data is in scientific notation. But really, all we need to do to bring that scale down is to increase the maximum volume. When we do that, be careful that the auto feature over here doesn't change the minimum volume from zero. So what I'm going to try to do is just make this one a little bigger. Sometimes putting another one in front will work. But let's try making that about a six. And okay, see how we brought this volume scale down considerably? I think that looks pretty good. But if it didn't look good and you wanted to change it, let's see what happens when we make it a 5. You can see it brings it up a little bit more. Maybe I'll leave it with the 5. Notice that when we changed our maximum volume, that our minimum dropped below 0. We don't want that, so let's change that back to 0. Okay, that looks good. So I'm happy with the way my volume looks right now. Now let's spread out our price data so that we can see our formations a little bit easier. So let's get our cursor over one of the numbers, right click, and we want to format axis again. We see with Apple that our low price was somewhere in the 80s or 90s. And our high price was somewhere a little bit below 120. That means we've got all this room from 0 to 80 where no trades took place. So let's get rid of some of that by making the minimum price something other than 0. So now we want to go in and change our minimum. I'm going to try 60 first. And see how much that spreads it out? But I think we can spread it out a little bit more. Let's try 80. 
All right, see how much we've spread our data out and see how now our formations like this double bottom are showing up pretty easily. That's going to make our graph a lot more easy to analyze. All right, I'm happy with the way the graph looks now, but we need to add some titles to our chart. All right, we all know this is a high-low close graph. The first thing I'm going to do is click on this legend and just get rid of it. This gives our graph a little bit more room. Now we need to label all our axes. So in order to do that, we're going to go to this design button and it'll give us information that'll let us change our chart a little bit. And you can change colors and the way it looks a little bit by fooling with this stuff, but I'm just going to keep it simple at this point and add labels. I'm going to go to add chart element and under this we'll see axis titles. So let's put our text box in for each. We do have a primary horizontal, which is our date. So we'll click on that. We'll put the text in later. So let's just add all the boxes right now. We can add our primary vertical and our secondary vertical. Now to put our titles in, we just click on the text box. So this is our volume. This is the date and our price. And that's it. We've created our chart. Now we can draw our formations on this and use it to analyze our data.